Some good news to report on nearly all fronts. Perch patterns have been working really well. This week's buzz bite report. This week's snapping it off the bottom. Auto chart live. You've got fish doing a number of different things. See a lot of them? Oh, yeah! They are heavy. Look at this guy. How's that? Today, it's all about summer walleye fishing, hot angling tactics, and red hot bites from around the upper Midwest. This is Angling Buzz TV. I'm Dave Sanda. I'm Troy Lindner. And joining us later in today's show, our BuzzBite reporters in the field will be sharing their area updates from their local waters. And today we're talking about walleyes. It's hot, it's summertime, but walleye, walleyes get a lot of attention, you know, in the fall and in the spring and the cooler months. But right now, summertime is really starting to heat up and so is the walleye fishing. Oh, absolutely. There's a wide variety of destinations and patterns you can use for catching walleyes deep, shallow, and in between. Think of it this way. Summer is a time of plenty. Plenty of habitat options, plenty of food, plenty of places to fish, matching a wide variety of fishing tackle, tactics, and techniques to each and every fishing situation. In its early days, walleye fishing chiefly consisted of live bait rigging and jigging tactics. Today, by comparison, it features nearly every tactic under the sun or moon. There's one. Versatility reigns supreme for consistently catching fish. That's because walleyes are incredibly versatile and adaptable creatures. They feed deep, shallow, and in between, on structure, along drop-offs, in weeds or wood, suspended, in flowing water, and in still water, along wind-driven shorelines, and in places where these different habitats overlap, leading to a wide variety of fishing patterns for potential consideration. There's a fish. There's got a it? fish. Yep, got him. Just bounced off the rocks yep, and another mingle, nice huh? one, Jared. Really nice fish. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go spot lock us to get All another right. big fish, man. Some feed in deep water, often during midday. Others feed in the shallows, typically during low light periods or under cover of darkness. When the wind blows, or when it doesn't, different groups of walleyes, each using different depths or types of habitat, become active or settle into inactivity. Summer is basically a 24-hour-a-day smorgasbord of changing fishing patterns, each occurring during brief windows of opportunity. That's the challenge of summer walleye fishing. It takes versatility, along with a willingness to experiment, to consistently put fish in the boat. Yep, there's another nice walleye with a power fishing approach. And one thing nice about summer walleye fishing, and, and I know you've spoken about that a lot, is picking up the pace. You can really fish fast for these, these uh, walleyes in the hot weather. Yeah, that's right. It's one thing when the water's cold in spring and fall where you use a lot of live bait tactics, but when it's warm, you want to trigger strikes, you want to move aggressively to locate fish and make them bite, and that's where a lot of artificials come in. Soft baits, crank baits, spinners, definitely pick up the pace. Walleyes are predators, they want to bite, Make them bite. Yeah, you've really seen the, the emergence of these artificial baits in the walleye world really, really grow. And right now, it's time for our Angling Buzz news for this week. There's bluegills, and then there are these bluegills. They were caught by Chad Nico and Jeremy David in Minnesota, and the fish were released healthy. With slow growth rates, the estimates for bluegills of the size may be 15 to 18 years old. To put this in perspective for the upper Midwest, that would be like catching a couple 55 inch muskies or 14 pound walleyes in the same day. Trout Regulations and Opportunities User Tool, also known as Trout, was recently launched for Wisconsin's waters, which has more than 13,000 miles of trout streams. Developed by the Wisconsin DNR, the new online interactive map for trout will help anglers find places to fish, and there's also info about local regulations. If you fish South Dakota's McCook Lake, please be aware that the lake is now classified as infested with zebra mussels. In August 2015, zebra mussels were present in large numbers in Lewis and Clark Lake. That prompted an effort by many local, state, and federal agencies from South Dakota and Nebraska to address the problems zebra mussels can create. 
And to help stop the spread of these aquatic invasive species wherever you fish, remember, clean, drain, and dry. Hey, thanks for the news, Troy. When we come back, our highlight destination is all about walleyes. We'll take a tour of some of the Midwest's finest walleye fisheries and join our Angling Buzz reporters in the field as Angling Buzz continues. There are reasons they're called the silent sports. No engines, no fumes, no wakes. Just the sound of a paddle blade knifing through the water. And maybe the occasional call of a loon who's willing to share a lake. Glide across your favorite water this summer with a canoe, kayak, or stand-up paddleboard. Mills Fleet Farm has them all. This year, really get on the water with Mills Fleet Farm. High-tech construction, building with old world craftsmanship. Pride and passion, the same qualities that define high-tech construction go into every project we build. With meticulous attention to detail, our experienced tradesmen bring your floor plan to life. Our unwavering customer service results in a truly satisfying building experience. High-tech construction, where technology meets old world craftsmanship. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. Coming up next is our highlight destination feature. It made me think of a little bit about kind of the different parts of the country and the favorite fish. Out west, you know, trout and salmon are extremely popular. You go to Oklahoma, Texas, well, it's stripers and largemouth bass. But in the upper Midwest, walleye is king. Yeah, and walleye anglers are definitely a different breed. They've got big deep V boats. They've got flat transoms that they troll backwards against the wind. They carry bait buckets is just a little bit different than you'll find elsewhere and they've got the fisheries to support that. Let's take a quick tour of some of the Midwest's finest walleye fisheries. The Missouri River reservoirs of the Dakotas are popular walleye factories for fish of all sizes, drawing residents and visitors alike to their windswept shores. And, man, when you don't have to reach in the middle bucket and you can keep casting and catching fish, it just doesn't get better. Today, however, we're featuring a wealth of natural lakes, some large, some small, in eastern South Dakota, stretching from about Wabay on up to Lake City for their superb walleye action and trophy potential. Nice that ball. Nice. Walleye, look at that, on a clack and wrap. To the north, Devil's Lake in North Dakota may look a lot like a reservoir, but it's actually a massive natural lake that varies greatly in size depending upon precipitation. In recent years, it's been mighty big and chock full of walleyes, including some real whoppers. The lake's abundant structure, flooded trees, and open basins demand a versatile approach for staying on top of the best bites. Upper Red, Leech, Winnie, Vermilion, and Mille Lacs in northern Minnesota are among the Gopher State's largest natural lakes and all our popular walleye destinations. Live bait rigging and jigging tend to dominate the mix but there's always room for experimentation. Moving east into Wisconsin, Lake Winnebago is a huge, shallow natural lake with a dynamic walleye fishery and a wide variety of fishing patterns, casting the trolling. Nearby Green Bay, however, is home to giants, with many walleyes topping 10 pounds. While predominantly considered an offshore trolling fishery, river current and structure fishing also play important parts in the seasonal mix. Saginaw Bay of Lake Huron, along Michigan's east coast, is a historical crankbait trolling fishery, popular for gargantuan walleyes exceeding the 10-pound mark. The bay also offers a variety of structure, weed, and river fishing patterns for walleye anglers to explore throughout the year. In the end, though, one would be hard-pressed to find a better trophy walleye fishery than the Detroit River, 
where it pours relentlessly into western Lake Erie. Every spring, hordes of monstrous walleye from Erie pour into and past the river mouth, work their way upstream to spawn, and eventually drift back down to Erie's expansive western basin. Whether you prefer large waters or small, or lake, river, or reservoir environments, there are so many good places to fish that you could spend a lifetime trying to set the hook in all of them. A dirty job for sure, but somebody's got to do it. And if you're versatile enough to tackle the challenge, it might just as well be you. Good fish, solid. Good fish, too. You know, most of these waters are traditional walleye fisheries where the fish have been naturally reproducing for a long, long time, and people fish them the way you think walleye should be caught. But yet, all throughout the region, let's say western Minnesota over into the eastern Dakotas, you have a lot of smaller lakes that have been stocked with walleyes and have developed great fisheries. They're not exactly classic walleye lakes with hard bottom, a lot of them are soft bottom. The fish behave a little bit differently than they do in a lot of traditional waters. And so while they have to adapt to the forage, adapt to the cover, adapt to the water clarity, they may not behave exactly the same as you think walleye should, but that's their lifestyle. And that's what happens. When you go out and fish a body of water, you have to adapt to what the fish are doing and use tactics that will catch them. And speaking of adapting to local circumstances, here's the first of our BuzzBite reporters in the field with updates from their local waters. First up, Mike Frisch from Alexandria, Minnesota. Well, it's walleye time. It's midsummer, and right now, if you like catching walleyes, consider a trip to the Alexandria area of western Minnesota. There's a bunch of lakes in the Alexandria area that have really good populations of walleyes. I'm talking about lakes like Milton, Reno, Ida, Mary, Minnewaska, and several smaller lakes that have good populations as well. What I'm doing is I'm searching main lake structure. I'm talking the sunken humps, the edges of the islands, the points that dump out into the main lake basin. The fish are there. What I like to do is I like to find them on my depth finder. I cruise over the top of these structure areas. I I look for them on my depth finder, I save the spot, and then I go back through them. I use a simple presentation. I use a bottom bouncer. I use a two ounce rock runner. I fish it fairly vertical with a plain snell and a leech or a night crawler. A really simple rig, but a great way to put summer walleyes in the boat. So if you want to catch walleyes, now's a great time to head to Western Minnesota. Use some of these tips. Remember, include a youngster in your next outdoor adventure, and as always, good luck on the water. Our next report is from Tim Hansky over on Lake Mille Lacs. The fishing is still hot out there. Um, we've been catching pretty much every species on casting plastics and jigs. Uh, my favorite has been the Berkeley Ripple Shad with an eighth ounce Ken Catch jig. Uh, the bright colors. This is Uncle Rico. That's been a good one. The tube jigs have been good, catching walleyes and bass on them. Purple and any dark color brown has been good. And then the Old Faithful X Wraps have been getting the job done as well. I like pink or green. Um, the best spots to fish are the windy rocks, 6 to 15 feet of water, kind of casting until you find a school of fish. And, you know, it's been good and it's a fun bite. You catch northern bass and walleyes. This is Tim Hansky with Leisure Outdoor Adventures. Good luck. Yeah, the walleye fishing at Mille Lacs Lake has been really good. My friend went out there the other day from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. with a little bit of smallmouth fishing in between the walleyes. They boated 31 walleyes up to 23 inches. Yeah, all the reports say that uh, the fishing at Mille Lacs has been absolutely red hot. And speaking of hot bites, stick around as Angry Buzz continues. Lake Winnipegashish, Big Winnie. Let's go back in time to a real up north vacation spot, a place where memories are made. Big Winnie is situated in the Chippewa National Forest and gateway to some of Minnesota's finest trophy walleye, pike, perch, untapped bass, and musky fishing. It's the perfect place for family and friends when you really want to get away. Go to lakewinnie.net to find our little piece of heaven. Running in rough water can be a pain, literally. Hey, I never knew how comfortable a ride could be until I added smooth moves to my boat. Its four spring design with hydraulic shock can smooth even the roughest of rides. With the built-in slide and swivel, you maintain all the function of your existing seat. A turn of the handle, adjust for conditions and passenger weight. Hey, it's easy to install and built to last. 
Smooth moves. Your back will thank you. I know mine does. Hey, we're back, and the bite is definitely on for walleyes right now. I know the last time I was up at Leech Lake, we were getting all of our fish in about 12 feet of water. That's not real deep. Yeah, I was getting them as shallow as six feet of water, some really big fish. I was up in Northwest Ontario at Hawk Lake. Early morning, we fished from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And those big fish, they moved up shallow, six to eight feet of water and artificial baits. That's how we got them. Wow, there's still a lot of fish up shallow where you can get at them pretty easy. And speaking of a good bite, let's join Kevin Kelly up at Lake Winnebagoshish in Minnesota. We've been here for the last three weeks. We've watched those fish transition from shorelines and from seven to nine feet to now we're finding those fish out on those first break lines and we're been fishing in 16 to 22 feet and we've been doing really well still on on actually shiners we found some spot tails still been going about 0.6 to 1.2 miles an hour eighth ounce jigs instead of 16th and our technique is still that snap jigging technique short snaps and those fish are just been hitting it uh, really coming in with some nice fish all different sizes but real nice walleye here our next report is from willie grand home on upper red lake the walleye bite up here on upper red lake right now is phenomenal getting fish on jigs minnows uh, jigs and plastics, also getting them on uh, hair jig with half of a rib worm. Really like that Berkeley Powerbait Ripple Shad. Earlier in the morning, the hair jig and plastic seem to be working really good when the fish are really aggressive. And then as the fish start to get a little less active in the midday, getting them on jigs and minnows. We're finding our fish just working the outside of the reed line in uh, three to five feet of water going along until we find a pot of fish and then once the fish start to die off we'll just get back on the move and find them again and at times we've been lucky enough where we haven't had to move at all. Now let's go from Willie to Billy as we join Billy Rosner up at Lake Vermilion. We're out doing some pike fishing today and TJ just hooked into an absolute monster here. Beautiful pike, beautiful. Gonna get her back in the water here quick. It's been another good week up here on Vermilion, fishing both for pike, and walleye bite has been good. Starting to catch walleyes now too on slip bobbers and leeches off the rock reefs out on the lake. Uh, pike are getting very active as you can see. Bass are in tight right now, the smallies are going pretty good. She's almost ready to go here. You want to treat these big fish with care, they're a pretty precious resource. Here she goes. Have a safe week, travel safe, and we'll talk to you next time. Our next report is from Luke Kavacek, who's fishing rivers around Ashland, Wisconsin. There's so many options for fishing this time of year in our area, and one of the funnest things that I like to do this time of year when the wind is blowing on the big lake like it is today, um, and it was yesterday, is we take our drift boats out of the shop here and we go south of Ashland and fish some big free-flowing rivers, uh, warm water rivers for smallmouth, pike, and muskie. Uh, these rivers are tailor-made for throwing flies um, for all those warm water species of fish. They're also great for uh, light tackle as well. The fly that was really working yesterday was this big Murdich minnow. Um, it's a great, great fly for, for both pike, muskie, and smallmouth this time of year. Um, it's got a big profile in the water. It hangs just like a like an X-Wrap or a Husky Jerk or something like that. Um, you can give it a twitch, twitch, pause, and it just hangs and kicks and floats, and that's when they like to come kill it. So it's just another option uh, that you can look into this time of year. Now let's head over and enjoy Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill, who's actually out fishing for walleyes at Lake Winnebago. Lots of 14 to 16 inch eater sized walleyes uh, coming throughout the entire system uh, in many different ways. Uh, some of the best techniques for me uh, lately have been fishing the edges of the reefs in let's say uh, 10 to 12, 10 to 14 feet of water, uh, pulling slow death uh, with a little spinner blade and uh, it's been working really well. Other tactics have been trolling the mud flats with crawler harnesses or different crankbaits. Up on the upper lakes as you head up the river, pulling three ways with uh, flies or uh, floating rapalas have been working well. 
uh, on Lake Butamore, jigging the canes, pitching uh, jigs with crawlers and leeches, and same thing up on Lake Poygan in the cane beds, pitching jigs and crawlers uh, or slip bobbers along the edges. Trolling on the west end with crankbaits, uh, small number fives or number four flicker shads have been working real well, uh, keeping them high. Uh, you know, a lot of fish have been coming high in the system uh, everywhere. So, until next time, I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Blue Go, get out and catch some of these walleyes. Uh, catch you guys on the water. And for our final report, we're heading over to Michigan with Captain Ben Wolf. It's June and we have some fantastic options for you all across the state of Michigan, and we're excited to be able to give you the report for this week. Lake Michigan is producing some fantastic salmon catches in ports like Ludington, Manistee, Muskegon, Frankfurt, Leland. Those fish are moving northward on their migration, and we're seeing some fantastic catches as a result. The mayfly hatch is in full swing right now, and so anglers that are fishing the rivers have some fantastic dry fly options, and anglers that are on the inland waters have some great topwater actions fishing for lots of different species. The hexagenia is the big magnum mayfly, and those will get some absolute fantastic bites for you if you fish topwater or dry flies. For bass anglers across the state, we're starting to see our fish transition towards the summer pattern. And what this means is that they're starting to head a little bit deeper. For more information, or if you're looking for a captain or guide in the state of Michigan, please give Sportfish Michigan a call or check us out on the web, sportfishmichigan.com. That's it for this week's reports. When we come back, cool products followed by our technique of the week. Lake Vermilion, explore, relax, reconnect. Minnesota's most beautiful lake. Whoa. Get hooked on our trophy wall. That's a beauty. Bass. This is my favorite fish. Musky fish. That's a beauty there. Things to do, you'll never get bored. Rooms with a view, we got them. Lake Vermilion, four seasons of fun. Because boaters know and follow Minnesota's aquatic invasive species laws, 98% of lakes are not known to have any zebra mussels. 95% are not known to have any kind of invasive animals or plants. Let's keep it this way. Clean aquatic plants and animals from boats, trailers, and equipment. Drain all water from watercraft, including the motor, and keep drain plugs out during transport. Dispose of unused bait properly. Together, we're preventing the spread of aquatic invasive species in Minnesota. Sportfish Michigan is your number one source for top charter captains and fishing guides in Michigan. Our network of professionals are full-time anglers with years of experience providing customers with the best possible fishing trip services. Fish for trout, salmon, steelhead on Lake Michigan or its famous tributary rivers, the Traverse City area's world-class smallmouth bass, walleye fishing on the Detroit River and Saginaw Bay or Northern Michigan spectacular ice fishing. We do it all. Sportfish Michigan. Get out. Get bit. And now it's time for our cool products brought to you by Mills Fleet Farm. We're talking walleyes, we're talking summertime, and we're starting off with bread and butter, bottom bouncers, and rigs. There's a lot of different bottom bouncers in the market. You stop into the store, you see different weights, different sizes. I think it's important to have a variety of sizes, something you know, down to half ounce, all the way up to three ounces, depending on where you're fishing. And here's a nice sample of different rigs. There's some of these louder rigs like this Lindy Little Guy. This thing has a lot of action, as well as this Apex Worm Wiggler. These can be these can be trolled a little bit faster, again, a little bit louder. On the other end of the spectrum from VMC, we have the Spin Drift. No blade on this. This is more of a finesse approach. The swivel's actually built into the hook, which is really nice. You can go at slow speeds, and it'll turn, it'll turn your bait really slow. And then, of course, your traditional, traditional rigs, just like this. And on the bottom bouncer, you can also fish an artificial like this Rappel Original Floater on the back. And it's important to have a floating bait, especially when you're dragging for walleyes like this. You want something that's very buoyant, something that's going to float up with good action. This is a good choice. And speaking of a good choice is the St. Croix Series Icon. This is for walleyes. These are specifically made for different walleye techniques. This is the bounce and troll. You can see the end of this has a nice soft tip for trolling and bottom bouncing. And it also has a lot of backbone for catching big walleyes. 
And to keep your rigs organized, there's a few on the market. This is Tackle Buddy. This is really nice. You just put the swivel, you hook the swivel in on, on one end like that. You wrap the rig around, bury the hook in there. You can kind of keep everything nice and organized and compact. And also we're talking about artificial baits. Well, talking about artificials and walleyes, a shad wrap is always a good choice. This is sort of a, a mid-depth bait. These are deep runners. This is five, meant to be from five to 11 feet. These colors are also only exclusive at Mills Fleet Farm. This one's, this one's pre pretty neat. This is called Frosted. That thing looks like a walleye catching machine. And for fishing deeper, you also have the Rapala Jig and Wrap. This is in number, uh, uh, number seven. This is great for deeper walleye fishing. You can also fish this shallow, and we've really seen these catch on in the walleye world in the past few years. And if you fish at night, well, a good headlamp is important. This is from Energizer. Has a couple different settings. You have an infrared light and you have a, a high and a low setting. It also has the batteries in here. So everything is together. It's from Energizer. And all these products and more are available at your Mills Fleet Farm store. You can also get them online at fleetfarm.com. And now it's time for our technique of the week. We're catching walleyes. We're using rigs. Check it out. There are three main styles of baits that are often pulled behind bottom mounts for walleyes. A spinner, a plain hook, and minnow baits. But there is much more to it than that. A single hook for minnows, leeches, or smaller plastics, or tandem hooks for night crawlers. Some manufacturers make their spinners with quick change sleeve clevises to change out blades without retying. Although a plain bait hook can be used behind bottom ouncers, today there are offset hooks like BMC Spin Drift, which allow you to move super slow, yet still have that spinning attraction. It has a unique swivel to hook system, which reduce line twists, and finally, minnow baits. The important thing about picking minnow baits is it has to be a floater with a shallow running bill. You can put on a heavy bottom mouncer and move fast, or slow down and impart a pump and pause action. The weight of the bottom mouncer you choose depends on the depth you're fishing, the desired speed you are traveling at, and what you are pulling. If you drop your rod tip back and you are not able to feel the bouncer hit the bottom, you need to increase the weight. Here's a cool tip for fishing deep water in heavy current. Add an egg sinker on the bottom shaft of the bottom bouncer. Take your fingers and make a slight bend backwards. Grab the pliers and bend it straight down. This will keep the egg sinker in place, yet if more or less weight is needed, it's easily adjusted. I'll tell you what folks, the fish are always biting. Sometimes you just gotta figure out what it is that they wanna bite. That's about all the time we have this week. I'm Dave Sanda. And I'm Troy Linder. And be sure to stop by your local Mills Fleet Farm store to enter our sweepstakes for a chance to fish here in the beautiful Brainerd Lakes area. Next week, it's all about summer at the lake. That means fishing with family and friends. In the meantime, be sure to check us out at anglingbuzz.com. See what our buzz bite reporters in the field have to say. And as I always like to say, they can help you put more and bigger fish in the boat in the weeks ahead. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. We'll see you next week.